Okay, we've hit a new low. We have hit a new low. I saw a video on YouTube and it actually said this. Don't say, wait, wait. You know the word wait, as in wait a second, or oh, you'll have to wait, I'm not ready yet. Don't say that word. Now, what's the problem with this? Are they, are, they, are, are they vocabulary expanding again? Well, potentially in their own minds. But look, this is something I've thought for some time and something I'm gonna say now. And it's this, why are we constantly encouraged to see language as performance? You know, wait is an everyday word. When you're in an everyday situation with your friends, just using language functionally, chatting to someone you've met, someone you know, and you say, wait, you're supposed to be self-monitoring and self-analyzing your performance. Look at this. I'm not a psychologist, so I can't talk about social anxiety from a psychologist's perspective, but I can talk about it as someone who had problems with social anxiety for a while. What people with social anxiety do is they imagine that other people are hearing them, well, they might be, but also they imagine that their performance is being evaluated and that other people are making judgments on them. And that makes them anxious. It's perfectionism making people anxious, I imagine. Now, as I said before, I did write my master's thesis on language anxiety. That is also caused by perfectionism in terms of language. Viewing your language as a performance and avoiding words like wait is probably, well, the most perfectionist thing you can do. And it's gonna make you extremely anxious. You will talk less, you will be involved in fewer conversations. When you're involved in fewer conversations and you don't hear what other people say, you don't receive the input from those conversations, you don't acquire as much language. So in their own heads, these people are expanding people's vocabulary. But let's take it step by step. So first of all, they're making people perfectionist. Then that means these people who see language as a performance because of ridiculous advice like this, are in less communicative situations. When you're in fewer communicative situations, you acquire less language because you have less input. Alternatively, they could say that they are giving you this vocabulary. You acquire vocabulary incidentally and incrementally. You don't hear a word a couple of times that somebody says you to you, you should say, and then use it in spontaneous production. It has to go through incremental stages from active vocabulary. No, that's not true. From passive vocabulary. It's not immediately part of your passive vocabulary. All the way through to active vocabulary. So you are confident, sure of that word. You have acquired it. Their help isn't help. And their hindrance is definitely, definitely hindrance. No more of this type of thing. It is absolute nonsense. They are monetarizing, making language users more anxious. That's James, Future Multilingual. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.